Hi, and welcome to the 2016 launch video series from Microdesk. My name is Peter Marchese, and I'm a senior consultant. What we're going to be looking at today is Format 360, and specifically a couple of features that are very beneficial and powerful uh, as... Oh, fuck. <clears throat> Hi, and welcome to the Microdesk 2016 launch video series. What we're looking at today is Autodesk Form 360, and we're specifically looking at a couple of features that are in the Pro version. Now, these features are very powerful, and they work with the energy analysis and solar analysis. So what we're looking at here is it's a very basic model. It's created completely in Formant, so just showing how you can actually do different levels, different shapes, Hop into that and say yes, use levels. So that actually creates the levels on the object that I've already made. I'll select my location. You notice while you're looking at the locations, I can also <clears throat> import the satellite image, which I already did. But I can also specifically look at the weather data based on the location that I choose. So I can look at things like the location and weather, different wind roses, and the monthly temperatures. Once I'm happy with that, I just say finish. So my levels, got my location set. Now I'm going to tell it that what I'd like to actually do is run an analysis. Now this one was already pre-run, but it does run very quickly. And what it's going to do is show you a handful of information. And the information that you get to see here depends on what you ask for and how you choose to look at this. <coughs> now this is working with the 90.1 ASHRAE standards, and it's creating thermal zones based on the shapes that you create. And from within this, if I'm having trouble understanding these, just click on a little question mark. And this will go into more data as to what it's showing you and what that really means. And they're trying to show based on a goal that you maybe set. It's showing how it relates to things like the Architecture 2030. And by color, it helps you understand. Now, in addition to just showing you your energy cost, your benchmark comparison, it can also show you project history as you've actually changed the project as you've moved from place to place. It shows you where you are. One of the really neat features is the ability to actually show you conceptual forms, meaning that I've made this sort of funky shape. What would happen if I change it to a different shape? Square, rectangular, circle, sort of a U shape. And this will give me an idea, basically, how that site works with the shape that I'm working with. And very quickly informs my decision on different layouts and different uh, information. This is a part of the Pro feature. Now, another thing I can actually do, I'm just going to shift over to a different one here. Go over here and say that what I'd like to actually do is look at my sun and shadows, but I don't want to just change the sun and shadows. This is something that's just part of forming. Everybody has access to that. What I want to do is look at the solar analysis. <clears throat> Again, this is one of those pro features. Going in here allows me to look at the forms that I've created, and very similar to Vasari, I can come over here and select different surfaces. Tell it to analyze the surfaces that I choose. And this will actually come through and show me, based on either a month peak or year cumulative, depending on what kind of data I'm looking for, what kind of solar radiation is hitting those surfaces. And if I hover over the surface, I'll actually get a little pop-up showing me what that value really is. You notice how it works on curved surfaces as well as on flat. So it gives me a lot of flexibility and a lot of information based on what my design is. And all of this being done inside of Formit can then be saved and then brought into Revit. So again, this was Format 360 Pro, and we just took a quick look at two of the features over there for solar radiation and energy analysis. Hope you liked it, and definitely take a look at the software yourself. Have a good one.